Hi friends, welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany. In today's video, I'm going to be vlogging my experience of trying out a couple of different romance book boxes and let you know what my thoughts are and whether they're worth the cost. <music> Okay, so I sort of did an introduction to this video a while back, but the way I'm doing this has shifted a bit. So I'm just scrapping it and kind of redoing it. For a while, I went through a phase where I was into YA book boxes. And then I just kind of found that the books were not always to my liking. The things that were included were not always things that I actually found useful. And so I pretty much gave up on buying them unless they were a special edition for a book that I knew I was really excited about. However, I'd recently seen some people talking about these different romance specific boxes and that piqued my interest and I kind of wanted to give them a try and see what I thought about them. In this video, I'm going to be trying two different book boxes and they have really different setups. I'm going to tell you a little bit about each one, what they do, and then I will unbox them with you and I'm going to try to make them equivalent and you'll you'll see what I'm saying. The first box and the one that I am going to be unboxing for you guys today, and fair warning, this is an enormous <laughs> enormous box. I was not expecting it to be this big. Uh, this is the Bell book box and this is the Beast. I mean, look at this thing, guys. It's huge. We're going to unbox that in just a minute. The Bell box has different sizes. The Beast is the biggest one that you can get, but you can also get a smaller size and it is a bi-monthly box. So it comes once every two months instead of every month, which is different from other book boxes I've seen. I think the Beast box includes six books as well as multiple high quality additional items. I have never tried this book box before. I've seen other people talk about it. And the reason I decided to try it this month in particular, this video is going up much later. So this is the February box that I'm, or the January, February box that I'm going to open for you guys. What happened was they ran out of books because it was so popular and so they had to print more. And so it took a few weeks longer than it would have normally taken to get my box. All of that to say this is part of why the <laughs> the approach to the video is somewhat changing. But the nice thing about them is they tell you ahead of time all of the authors who are going to be in the box and I think a couple of the specific book titles that are going to be in the box. So you know all of that ahead of time. The reason I decided to grab this one is in honor of Black History Month, it's all Black romance authors, including Kennedy Ryan with a special edition hardcover with a new different cover that you can't get anywhere else. And that was really appealing to me because I like Kennedy Ryan. Many of my favorite romance authors are Black authors. And so I was like, okay, this sounds like a really great month to try it. The other nice thing about it is you can pretty easily skip your renewal date. So if you look on Instagram and see the authors that they're featuring in a given month, and you're not interested, you can skip it, which I've done for the next billing cycle. In terms of cost, it's about $100 every two months, which might sound like a lot, but if you break it down, given the fact that you're getting six books, it's actually not that bad, considering some of them can be hardcover editions, and it's once every two months. So you're paying the equivalent of $50 a month, depending on how much of a romance reader you are and what your book budget is, is it a little bit on the high end for a book box? Yeah, it is, but I that's part of why I also wanted to try it out and see if it seems like it's worth the cost. And so we will do the math on that. From what I can see, this is a combination of indie and traditionally published authors in terms of who's getting featured. And for this month, it should be a mix of indie and traditional titles. The other box that I just ordered today and I will open with you guys when it arrives is the Reveal book box. This one is a monthly box. You can get either one, two, or four books, if I'm not mistaken, in your box. I decided to go for the two book option and then I'm just going to get it back to back in two different months as a comparison to the Beast version of the Bell box. That's like a somewhat even comparison. Two books in a month plus swag items that go into the box. $24.95 a month plus shipping, which for me is like $7. So in terms of cost comparisons, this option is definitely cheaper. You can even get a no frills, just one signed book. And that is one other nice thing is you get signed books, I think with both of these boxes, we'll see about that. I'll let you guys know, but you can get a no frills one that's like $13 a month plus shipping or two books plus swag for $24.95 plus shipping. It's definitely cheaper. This one, I think the four books a month option is like about $50. So you might get more books, but from what I'm guessing, I think you might get higher quality 
items in the bell box. So we're gonna look at all of it and compare it and see kind of what's worth it and what do you want. One thing that is interesting about the reveal book box is you can tell them your favorite tropes or types of romance to read. They do say that if it's in stock, they will try to meet those requests, but they don't guarantee anything. So I am kind of picky about the romance that I like to pick up. And with this, you're going in a little more blind. So I'm really curious to see what titles they end up sending to me and if they're titles that actually fit what I like. Whereas with the Bell Book Box, you kind of know ahead of time, at the very least, the authors, and in some cases, the titles that you're receiving. So depending on how much control you want to have, <laughs> of the books you're getting in the mail. I tend to prefer more control, but some people like the surprise. So uh, all of that said, these are the two book boxes we're gonna be looking at and comparing, and hopefully this will be interesting and helpful for you guys. We are going to open up the bell box. I It's been sitting here since yesterday, and I've been kind of dying to see what's in it. What And I also was not expecting it to be so enormous. So let's do this. This is the Bell book box. This is my hand. Guys, this thing is freaking enormous. So, uh, I probably should let me get scissors. Okay. There we go. So, first up, we have a card. So this is a packing list. I'm not going to look at that until later. It tells you everything that's going in here. First, let's look at this stuff. We have a bookmark, a card for the this other series. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I don't know if this is a notebook or a, yeah, it's just a notebook, but it's pretty adorable. I love the art on this. I don't know who did it. It says goal getter. It's got a really cute black girl on the cover. It's just a plain li lined notebook, but it's pretty, pretty adorable. I may actually send this to a friend who would appreciate this. Um, but I, I like it because, again, it's a Black History Month themed box. So first up we have Forget Me Not by QB Tyler. I have not read anything by this author before. I do know that some of the covers, including the Kennedy Ryan one, are exclusive to the box. I'm not sure if this one is, but I'll let you guys know. What do you do when the love of your life forgets? Not the good times, not the love, not the passion, but the pain and heartbreak and betrayal. He doesn't remember that he broke my heart, but I do. What do you do when the love of your life remembers your marriage, but not your divorce? That is intriguing. Very interesting. Okay, cool. So this is something I would be interested in reading. Let's see what this is. Um, all use mount holder. There's not really instructions on this and the pictures on the back are a little bit unclear. It's showing it holding up like phones and keys and stuff. Like, can you hold a phone on something magnetic? Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that up. All right. This is beautiful, truly a dark romance by Carmel Rhodes. I am not a big dark romance reader, but I'm always open to trying something. The summer after senior year was supposed to be the best summer of my life. It was supposed to be full of adventure and self-discovery and making love under the stars. It was supposed to be about losing myself and finding my way. Only it wasn't supposed to start like this. I wasn't supposed to go to that party. He wasn't supposed to notice me. The hot jock with the trust fund and chip on his shoulder. My ex-boyfriend's half-brother. Ooh, jeez. <laughs> Okay. Noah Tedesco is so far out of my league, he might as well be playing a different game. Noah wasn't supposed to look twice at a girl like me, but he did. Now that I'm on his radar, my life will never be the same. Interesting. Okay, so I'm down for trying this. I'm not a big dark romance reader, like I said, but I will try this out. Oh, cool. And signed. I think, let's see if they're all signed. I think they're probably, this one is signed. I'm guessing they all are, which is fun. Signed indie titles. Next, we have one that is traditionally published. And I'm excited for this. I have heard great things about this book and I had been thought about buying it anyway. So I was really happy to see that it was going to be in this box. This was in the smaller box as well. So I knew it was a title in here. The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa. I think this is where a wedding planner gets left at the altar and ends up falling for her husband's or her like ex-fiance's best man, which is interesting. I hear it's really funny and really good. So I'm happy to have that. This is gorgeous. I've not read from Dylan Allen either. Thicker Than Water. Like I said, the cover is really pretty. I like the artwork. Lucia Vega is on a winning streak. Her book, Throw Away the Key, has taken the country by storm. Oh, it's about an author. That's cool. Oh, there's the kids. <laughs> 
And now it's being made into a movie. After years of chasing it, she can finally taste freedom. Reese Karas is one of the most powerful men in Hollywood, handsome, rich, and generous. He's everything girls like her aren't supposed to dream of, but dream she does. And in his strong arms, she finds a freedom she never even knew existed. Falling in love is the easy part. Cruel twists of fate and torn loyalties will make staying together seem impossible. Sacrifices will have to be made, and they will learn that blood may be thicker than water. But nothing is more powerful than two hearts that beat for each other. Um, so yeah, this is beautiful. This one is a hardcover, and I think there's two hardcovers in this. It is also signed, and it's also an indie title. All right. Oh, yay. It's not one I have. Oh, this is exciting. Okay. So we have an exclusive cover for Hookshot by Kennedy Ryan, and it is a hardcover. This is the only place you can get this. I'm excited because I've been wanting to read more from Kennedy Ryan. I've not read this one yet. So this is the third book in the series. Divorced, single dad, traded to a losing squad, cheated on, betrayed, exposed. My perfect life blew up in my face and I'm still picking up the pieces. The last thing I need is her, a wildflower, a storm, a woman I can't resist. Lotus Dupree is a kick to my gut and a wrench to my plans from the moment our eyes meet. So I don't know if there's another book. This is, this makes five. What? Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. It says book hoarder. And it's like this jar. You could use this for all kinds of stuff. It's not broken. I love this. It's so cute. I will totally use this. Actually, this is this is awesome. What do we have? It says book hoarder. What is this? Oh, it's an umbrella. Cute. Does it say book hoarder on it? Should we open it? I always use a, new, a good umbrella. I don't know if you can tell. So it's just like a plain little umbrella. It doesn't say anything on it, but it's cute. It's like a nice little micro one. And uh, the case, the case is cute. This is useful. I feel like we're always breaking umbrellas here, so I will actually use this. Okay, obviously, once it's wet, like you'd need it to thoroughly dry again before you put it back in this. But this could be like a nice protective way to throw it in your purse, or you could use this as like a pencil case instead. It's cute. Next, we have a self-inking stamp. <laughs> Okay, this is cute. It says property of a book hoarder, um, which is, that's that's cute if you want to stamp your books. I, and I guess you could put your name there. Like, will I actually use this? Probably not because I don't really do that with my books, but like, it's a cute idea. Then we have a pin. It says, be the woman you needed as a girl, which is cute. I like it. This is interesting. I was actually right about it supposedly having six books in it. It looks like the book that we were supposed to have, Big Ben by Nana Malone, is backordered. So I don't know what's going on with that, if they're just not sending it out at all or if we're getting it later. I, I'm not sure what happened. This does give us a little more information. So we have exclusive hardcover edition of Thicker Than Water, retail value $24.99, hardcover edition exclusive of Hookshot, $24.99, etc. So this kind of goes through car magnetic mount cell phone holder. So that's what that is supposed to be. It says that the total retail value of the box is $167.91. The cost was $94.99, and so you're saving $72, obviously, assuming that you want all of the things included. Um, I do like that they print this out for you, <laughs> uh, but yeah, kind of a bummer that the this book is backordered. I'm wondering if we're still getting it. We have two hardcovers with special edition covers. We have three paperbacks, and uh, one of the paperbacks is traditionally published. The rest are indie published. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. This is the Beast Box. You know, for $100, considering all of the books, like this is not a bad value. First thoughts on the box. Um, I think 
The real selling point here, honestly, is the books. It is cool to be able to get signed romances. It's cool to be able to get some special editions. Like these hardcovers are very nice. All of this is, of course, assuming that you like the authors or the books that are being included. But one good thing about this is that you do know ahead of time two of the titles as well as the authors of all of the books. So that I think can be helpful in terms of deciding whether you want to skip a month or not skip. As far as the items that they included, it's a little bit of a mixed bag for me and that's not super surprising. The stamp I'm probably not going to use and I, I think this is supposed to have been an ink pad but there's there's no ink. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what happened with that. I think it was supposed to come with an ink pad but you would have to actually buy one that fits in here or buy an ink pad and then it's not self inking. Uh, yeah, so like not super impressed with that. Having actually looked at the description, this is supposed to be a magnetic phone holder which in theory is really cool, except for the fact that I, and I think most people who have expensive phones, use plastic cases on them. <laughs> like, like I have a big plastic case on my iPhone to protect it and like it is not magnetized enough to actually use this. Okay, for the record, I was wrong. This is actually pretty cool and pretty useful. The bigger rectangle has a sticker on it, which is stuck on the back of the phone, which you cannot see because I'm using it to film. And then I stuck this here. So this is actually kind of cool for doing Instagram because I can just like magnetically hold it up. So I, I take it all back. This is a cool item. I do really like the cookie jar. I think it's adorable. You could use it for a lot of things. You could use it for cookies or candies. You could put pens in it or makeup brushes. Like I think this is a cute and pretty useful object. I like the artwork on this. I think it's really fun and you know notebooks are always nice to have around. They don't cost very much but it's cute. And umbrellas are always nice to have. I think the case is cute. I probably would not actually keep an umbrella in this case. I maybe would use this for like pens or something. I wish that there was an actual design on the umbrella, not just on the case, but maybe not everybody wants that. Like an actual bookish umbrella, I would be so into, but it's just like a plain blue umbrella, which is, is fine, it's useful. Like we're always breaking umbrellas, but is it something that I'm super excited to have in the box? Uh, I mean, not really. The pin is cute. I do like pins, so I like it as an included thing, but it's not like it's adding a ton of value to the box. So overall, my thoughts are these are not terrible items, but in terms of quality and usefulness, it's a little bit of a mixed bag. I'm kind of surprised, honestly, because I thought the whole thing was that this was supposed to be like a self-care themed thing. Maybe I'm wrong and that's not actually what it is because these items clearly are not that. Um, but yeah, like probably the stuff that I think is the most valuable other than the books is the cookie jar and the, maybe the notebook. Although this would be even cooler if it wasn't just a notebook, if it was actually, because it says goal getter, like if this was actually some kind of a planner or a, a bookish thing with something in it beyond just the artwork, I think that would be more valuable but it's it's nice like I don't I don't hate the items at least some of them are somewhat useful but yeah like if you're buying this box you're really getting it for the books and you're probably not going to be wanting to get it every single month is my guess I I'm hoping that maybe we get that last book because I really had wanted to try Nana Malone I, I hope we still get it. It says it's back ordered, so I don't know if it's still coming or if we're just getting it without and they just wanted to ship this out when they could. I, I'm not sure what's going on there, so maybe I'll email them and let you guys know. And I guess the last thing I'll talk about is like how excited am I about the books. Really the reason I got it is I knew there was going to be a special edition Kennedy Ryan. I love Kennedy Ryan and I'm happy to have this. I uh, have been wanting to read this series and I hear great things about it, so that was definitely a draw. And then I'm also really excited to have the worst best man because I was thinking about buying it for myself anyway. The other books sound great and I think for like a one-off it's kind of a cool way to get introduced to some new black authors that I hadn't read from before. If you like the books, if you like at least a couple of the items, you're getting your money's worth. Are you getting the full value they say you're getting? I mean maybe not, but I do think that you're getting a decent value for what you're paying. 
Heads up, I emailed Bell Book Box about the Nana Malone title and they got back to me really quick, I want to say in like 15 minutes or so, and said that yes, I will be getting that book still shipped separately. So yay! I'm really pleased to hear that. I basically think even just the books kind of makes up for the cost of the box and then the items are just kind of gravy some better than others. It is a few days later and my reveal book box arrived which is very exciting. This came much faster than I thought it was going to actually. So we're gonna unbox this and I will give you my thoughts. I love the pink color. Okay so this is very cute. I like the wrapping. It's got a cute little sticker on here. It says single taken mentally dating a fictional character. <laughs> so that's that's fun. Okay, so we definitely have some goodies in here. Let's see what we've got. We have Liberty Freer Wayward Reads Pen. So I think the deal is that this book box lets authors send in goodies to include. So I'm guessing this is probably a goodie that an author sent to include. Live a thousand lives dot com. A little tin. Okay, some candy. <laughs> Airheads and bazooka. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> uh, all the sexy romance you could want on one charitable device. When you buy one, two are donated. Oh, this is cool. The Live a Thousand Lives Project is committed to making audiobooks more accessible to individuals with handicaps and degenerative disorders. When physical books are problematic to hold and enjoy, our easy-to-use audiobook player offers a solution. With every romance audio reader purchased, already equipped with romance audiobooks you'll love, two book-filled readers are donated. That's cool. That's a, that's a cute project. So we have some, some candy. We have some tea, tart blood orange. That sounds delicious. Maybe I'll try that out. A blow pop. <laughs> More candy. I wish that would send chocolate, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. Um, welcome to the club. Cute. Okay, and then we've got a bunch of more author swag, it looks like. Uh, KLM, where suspense and heat collide. And like basically a bunch of sort of like bookmarks, a sticker, ooh, and a recipe card. Cam's better than my grandma's chocolate chip cookies. This makes me want chocolate chip cookies. Cool, so a recipe card. Okay, I think that's it. So let's see what books we got. Vampire Girl by Karpov Kinraid. I have never heard of this author before, but it looks fun. The princes of hell are coming for you. Are you ready? You think it's safe to walk alone at night. It's not. You think the only threat is other humans. It's not. Monsters are real. Vampires are real. And I'm about to become one of them. My name is Ariana Sparrow. Spiro? Sparrow? I was an ordinary girl living an ordinary life until my mother lapsed into a coma. Now I am her only hope. She made a deal with the devil and on my 18th birthday he came to collect. But there's a way to save her. There's something the princes of hell want more than my mother. Me. <laughs> Wow. So I signed my soul away and promised to pick a prince to marry. I would take the blood oath, become one of them, and give them an heir. I would become a princess of hell, and my mother would live. I expected fire and brimstone. I expected pain and misery. I didn't expect beauty. I didn't expect magic. I didn't expect love. But the princes are keeping secrets for me. Secrets that could shatter everything. Interesting. So this sounds like it might be a reverse harem type thing, which is not usually so much my deal. It also sounds a little darker than what I usually tend towards, but, uh, you know, vampires are cool. Interesting premise. I, I'm, I'm up for trying it out. This cover looks adorable. We have Like You Love Me by Adriana Locke, which is a contemporary romance. First rule of marriage, make it believable. To save her Tennessee bed and breakfast, Soapy Bates needs a fast cash miracle. Holden McKenzie, her childhood best friend, needs to prove to a prospective employer that he's com a committed man. Their fortunes are on the line. Holden proposes, 
a solution. He'll take care of Sophie's bills if she agrees to a temporary marriage of convenience. And why not? They're comfortable together, they have fun, and they trust each other. It's as simple as saying, I do. But the off-the-cuff wedding has all of Honey Creek talking, and Sophie and Holden realize that their perfect arrangement is working too well. If they're not careful, this marriage could turn into a love story. That sounds right up my alley. Yes, please. I love a marriage of convenience. This sounds really sweet. It's like a friends to lovers deal. I am for sure interested in this one. Okay. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what we got in Reveal Book Box. Uh, honestly, what you're really buying here is the books. <laughs> the other stuff is cute, but like a bag of tea and some candy, like you're paying for the books. So you're paying about $12.50 per book, which might be a slight discount on the physical books given that they're indie published. Let me look it up and I'll tell you for sure. <laughs> okay, so on Amazon, Vampire Girl retails for $10.99 and Like You Love Me is currently on sale for $9.99 but typically retails for $12.95. So uh, you're, you're not really getting a deal on the books. Like it's, it's pretty similar to what you would pay if you picked them up yourself. And with the box, you are also paying a few dollars for shipping, which if you have Amazon Prime, if you use Amazon, you wouldn't be paying for. However, would you know to buy these books and know that they might be to your taste? Maybe not. So I think what Reveal Book Box is probably good for is trying out new indie authors that you might not have otherwise known about. Is it a good deal in terms of cost for the books? So far I'm thinking no. However, I do think it's cool because you can tell them what you're interested in. So I know I said that I like a marriage of convenience plot and I like a sweet romance, which is probably why they sent me this one and it does sound right up my alley. I think I checked paranormal romance as something I'm interested in, which is part of why they sent me this, which I'm open to it. Like I'm 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 not against it. It does sound like it could be interesting. I'm just not sure it's going to be my thing. But regardless, I have not heard of either of these authors before. I have not read from them before. So if I'm looking to get into some new indie romance authors, this could be a good bet. My plan is to get one more month of Reveal Book Box and see how they do with another month of books in terms of curating them to my taste. Like, I think they did a decent job this month. Let's see how they do next month. Other thing is these are signed, which is cool. So I'll mention that. So you're, so you're also, okay. So you're also getting signed copies, which is, which is nice. Like the signed copies are nice. Um, all right. So all of that to say, in terms of where are you going to get the biggest bang for your buck, where the, the return on what you're spending is going to be higher, I would say probably Bellbox is going to be your best bet. What's cool about them is they have exclusive covers for some of the books, kind of know what you're getting every couple of months and you can skip if you're not interested in the author lineup. Again, you're getting the signed books, you're getting the added goodies, which, you know, like some are more valuable than others, but I do think are valuable. So purely in terms of where are you getting the most for your money, I would say Bellbox. However, if you're looking for more of a service to provide you with introductions to new indie romance authors you might not have otherwise known about that are somewhat catering to your interests and tastes in romance, then Reveal Book Box might be a good one to try from time to time. Is this something that I would do every month or in the Bell Box case every two months on a regular basis? Probably not just because I already have so many books incoming for other reasons, but I do like the fact that both of them include a lot of indie authors and I'm pleased to be supporting indie authors that way and adding some new things to my TBR. So I think they both have their pros and cons. Bell Box is clearly much more expensive, although if you don't get the Beast Box, it's not as expensive. You can get the smaller box, you don't have to get the one with the six books, but in terms of cost for the books, for all the stuff you're getting, like it, it's pretty good. Reveal, <laughs> reveal book box link. You could probably get the books for cheaper on Amazon. And I, I'm assuming that they get these at a discounted rate. They're not paying full retail price as a book box in the first place. So it would be nice if they could, you know, turn around and give some of that back to their customers. But uh, in, in this case, that doesn't seem to be what's happening. So I will be back when my next reveal book box arrives in another month. We'll take a look at how they did curating books for me in month two, and then we will wrap this project up. Hello, I am back 
with my second reveal book box. So we're gonna do an unboxing, discuss what we have in here, and then do a final wrap up for this video. Also, if things look or sound different, it might be because I just got a new camera and so I'm testing it out. Please bear with me. I'm not sure what the sound is gonna be like. Hopefully not bad, <laughs> um, but I'm excited to see how the footage turns out. So uh, second box, let's go ahead and open this baby up. Here is the second box. Again, the packaging is very cute. Okay, so it looks like we have some more fun swag this month. Pretty cute pen. It says fairy tales for everyone from Cambria Herbert, who is an author. We have a uh, nail file from Casey Hagen, Bold Determined Women, Alpha Swoonworthy Men. We have a candle from Candle Crest with a coupon on the back if people want to check it out. So obviously, again, this is businesses and authors can send in their items for inclusion in the box. It does smell pretty good. It's like a little floral, a heart-shaped lollipop. And then we have a bookmark, postcard, a couple of stickers. Cute. On to the books. So the first book we have is Boyfriend Maintenance by Lauren Helms, a fake relationship romance. This is another author. It looks like it's probably an indie author that I have not read from. And it's a fake relationship book, which I am a fan of. So it looks like they are taking into account my interests. Fake relationship for a wedding. Cool. I mean, that sounds like something I would be interested in. And here is the other book. We have Tempting Tim by Melissa Ellen, part of the Billingsley series. This is another author I personally don't know of and haven't read from. On the front it says, my buddy's ex-girl. Nope, not me, ever. Interesting. So I guess kind of a taboo contemporary romance about about a guy who plays in a band. I mean, probably not something I would have picked up for myself. Okay. So here's the second box. There's some cute swag, definitely all stuff that was sent in by authors and companies, not necessarily something purchased by the box, but you know, fun. Now I'm gonna go look up the prices of the books and we'll check back in. Let's review the books. These were the two books that came in my second box. Both of them are contemporaries, which is not necessarily my favorite, but I think they tend to do a lot of contemporaries is the vibe that I'm getting from this box. There is one that has tropes that I'm into, one that has tropes that I'm not really into. Um, I'm not sure how they decided on this one for me. It might've just been what they had available. This one is pretty short. It's actually a novella, uh, just over a hundred pages long, not a full length book. And this book retails for $10.99 if you were to buy it separately. Tempting Tim is a full length novel and this one retails for $13.99. So the retail price of both of these books together is about $24. The price of the reveal book box is $25 plus the cost of shipping. So again, I think the real draw of this is to get a curated selection of books where at least one of them per box is kind of what it seems like is going to be based on your interests. Maybe if you have broader interests than what mine are, you would get more per box, but you're pretty much getting a curated set of books by primarily indie authors. And if you're looking for a way to get to know new authors who might be a good fit for you, trying this out could be great. And I would see it more as a service providing that than something really providing value in terms of the books themselves compared to the cost of what you're paying. All of that said, what have we learned from this video? I think basically if you're looking to get exposed to new indie authors who write things with themes that you find interesting, you might want to try out Reveal Book Box. Is this a box that I'm going to continue to be subscribed to? Honestly, probably not just because I already have so many new authors that are kind of coming my way. But I do see the benefit if you're looking to add new indie romance authors to your repertoire. It would be nice if you got a little more bang for your buck here, but 
you really don't. If you were just gonna buy the books on your own, you would probably pay less than what you're paying for the box. And the swag added in is nice, but it's not necessarily adding a ton of value. If you're looking to get the most bang for your buck, I would definitely recommend going with the Bell Box. This is more expensive, but they only bill every two months instead of every month. And you know, the value is definitely there. I also really love the fact that you know ahead of time which authors are going to be included so that you can skip the month if it's not something you're interested in. For my preferences, this would definitely be the pick that I would go with, um, but yours may vary. Hopefully this has been interesting and useful in helping you determine which box might be for you or might not be for you. Talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know any of your thoughts or feelings on anything I talked about in this video. And for your question of the day, let me know your feelings on book boxes. Are they something you're interested in? Are they something you like to subscribe to? Or do you prefer to just select your books on your own? Let me know in the comments down below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And if you want to support the work of the channel, check out the Patreon linked down below or check out channel memberships. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.